If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for this. God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I cared for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Okay. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. Oh, we will. <clears throat> that couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Don't blame yourself. If I, don't I forgot know, about the drill. We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. <clears throat> they have like this memory thing where they can recall every single memory perfectly. Without uh, anything being broken, they'd be good uh, people to uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to the Bailey guy. Yeah, talk to us, Captain yes. Bailey. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum. Shit. <laughs> uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. Nice. I'll stay out of sight. If I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Look at this. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Uh. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? 
You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Good cop, well. bad cop. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? <laughs> oh, I can't use that one. You hired an assassin. We need to know who you want killed. You tell us, you can go. I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. <laughs> that wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little... excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is... <laughs> <for me. laughs> <laughs> nice. You know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. <laughs> Torum! Torum to lead. Torian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to save Colyet. Thane's son. Hi, Shepard. Hi, kitty. Oh, he's such a good kitten. Just laying on my lap. And then I think, yep, Tali's right below me and laying... Well, my chair. I do not believe Rex is here, though. There he is. How do you want to play this? Oh, this is the coolest cutscene in the game. The lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell this is a story. sweet cutscene right here. Make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Here we go. I'm on Kira. Lord of Hunters, grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Whoa! <sighs> it's been wonderful talking with you all. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. What's well, this thing? We can use this. I'm oh. Following. Okay. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Okay. There he is with his blood pack guard. Stay up here, Shepard. Stop it. Shepard's like sliding off, thrashing around. I've got him. Oh, Shepard. Target in sight. Yeah, look at that. The 
billboards. You just stand there with a bodyguard? I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. What is he doing? Still waiting. Crow could leave yet? Yeah, he did. I see him. Why is he running? He just starts running. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I want to go in there. Oh, wait, there he is right there. What's he doing? What is he doing? Oh no, oh no, I ran too far ahead. I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Target in sight. Uh oh. More blood pack. What's his status? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Yes, sir. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, I see him. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, that's why. <gasps> Koyet. Ah! What was that? Oh, oh man. Pain. I saw. He's heading to the lead's apartment. Quiet. No. Come on, Koyat. Koyat. Listen to Daddy. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. Csec, put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Shoot him in the ankle. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch. Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my <gasps> What? After what? her body was given to the deep. I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? 
Kolyat have taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, <clears throat> take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. <laughs> I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Back to the precinct. Ugh, well, that was an interesting mission. Nice like rice. Nice like rice. Nice like rice. Nice like rice. Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Just waiting. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Someone like that is trouble you don't want to deal with. Someone's got to deal with it. Doesn't have to be me, though. There they are. Oh, it's just, just Thane. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. That kid goes through the system. We both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin. Scales. Whatever. <laughs> if you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society, and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Hmm. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Okay, there we go. Let's head back to the Normandy. I think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know C said too well to believe that's true. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Okay, nice. Well, we've completed quite a few loyalty actually four loyalty missions today in our little playthrough. Working hard as hard as I can so we can get this this over with and uh get on to uh ha huh. <laughs> the end of the game before Mass Effect 3. So I will talk to you guys later. Let me just save it quick. Save it quick, save it quick. Okay, see you guys. Bloop!